Ladies and gentlemen, I stand before you today proud to announce that we are officially about to about to enjoy uh, one of the first PDF file dramas of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, clap, clap. I know it's uh, it's not even the end of January and we've already got one. We've already got a real fun one. And this one is regarding Chugga Conroy. You guys may remember, I just the other fucking day made a video basically defending this guy. I mean, not hardcore, but I was like, this guy, like, it, it, you know, it seems like what he did wasn't that bad. Um, for context, there was this uh, beautiful shining young woman named uh named named great cheshire or or emily on twitter i think she's a writer for the youtuber sarah z according to her bio anyway and um she had talked about how chugga conroy had supposedly like pressured her or sexually harassed her into like sending pictures of her feet well we went through the dms and it seems like she was pretty much fine with it the entire time until afterwards and then she expressed regret and was upset about it he was being a little weird a little creepy yes but it wasn't like cancelable material he didn't he didn't rip anyone and she also to him never expressed discomfort while it was happening like she was totally fine with it. But once again, it wasn't like cancel worthy. It wasn't like it's over worthy type thing, you know? And you can see from the comment section on this video, a lot of people here are saying things like if someone's making you uncomfortable, tell them. Telling everyone but them is literally just gossip, especially when they're internet famous. And it makes you look like an obvious clout goblin. If anyone betrayed anyone's trust here, it's Emily. Emily could have just blocked him at the time and didn't just do that. Why? This whole situation feels like more of an attempt to smear Chugga Conroy rather than actually hold a so-called harasser accountable. She literally admits to only exposing him out of spite. So a lot of people seem to agree with my take here, but... Uh, also, a few people uh, enlightened me to the fact that the day that I released this video, a new allegation came out against Chugga Conroy. Here we have Willie Mac Show joking about it, saying we're not even out of January, and this is like the fifth pedo tube drama. But actually, I didn't even say pedo tube. I just had that in my mind. <laughs> but for real, like, why can't you guys just stop? Stop touching kids. Why is it every time I fly out, a child's getting f***ed in the by somebody? That's a good question. That's an excellent question, Mudahar. Well, it seems like it wasn't quite that that happened today, but we do have a little bit of a story about Chugga Conroy. It's gotten 10,000 likes on Twitter. It's really making the rounds. Before we get into this, I think you have to you have to keep in mind these are allegations. It could be fake somehow, but let's dissect. Worcester Loeb on Twitter says, Chugga Conroy, I'm sharing the story of a close friend of mine to allow her to maintain anonymity. She feels it's relevant to share given the dynamic started when she was 15 years old and he was 19. You can read her whole statement and chat logs here. And here we have the... Um, uh, the entire Google document. Hey, Lolly here. Law, Lolly, Law. I don't know how to say that other than to pronounce it the, you know, bad way. I'm nervous speaking out about any of this, so please bear with me. I wish to remain anonymous as I'm not a public figure. I'm just a person trying to do the right thing, and please ask that you respect my privacy. I've known Chugga Conroy since late 2009, and we started speaking as friends as early as 2010. We started talking because of a cringe video I made doing voice lines for Gygus. I was so excited to meet and talk to my heroes at the time. I didn't have many friends, so it felt extra special to have someone as important as him showing interest in speaking to me. At the time, Chugga used AIM. AOL Instant Messenger, and I had a potato PC that couldn't run it, so I used this thing called Meebo, which let me use AIM in a browser to speak with him. I saved the logs and the message to myself because of how precious they were to me at the time. I haven't used the site in years, but the recent allegations against Chugga made me really start to think and question our friendship. I dug up everything and started to read through all the old messages between us, and, uh, it's bad. Beyond the 2010 era cringe, he said things to me while I was underage that are not okay. It never occurred to me when I was younger how bad the situation was. At the time, I was so, so excited my hero was talking to me and showing interest in me. For years, I was friends with him and never really thought about how bad the situation actually was. I'm still coming to terms with it, and to be honest, I'm not really sure how I should feel. I know it's not right, though. Speaking that way to a minor is unacceptable, and I wonder if anyone else has been affected and also might be too afraid to speak out. I understand that people may be skeptical of claims like this. I'm sure if he's your hero, too, you wouldn't want to believe any of this. Outwardly, he's a very kind guy. I still struggle with feeling as though I betrayed a friend, but given everything, I'm not sure he ever truly saw me as a friend to begin with. I've documented all the logs I have and only things I've redacted are things that are very personal for myself and Emil, family stuff, locations, etc. I've screen shared all this information with Worcester, so if the logs and screenshots are sketchy to you, I can promise you they've been seen in real time by someone else whose identity isn't unknown. It's real. I promise you it's all sadly real. And a footnote for those of you that plan to read the logs, please do so at your own discretion as a lot of the language that I and Emil use is dated and extremely unacceptable. 2010 times were really something different and caused me physical pain to read over. Damn, is she gonna, is she gonna drop some gamer words? in here, bro. Gamer word sexting. All right. And here we have the screenshots. Uh, as we can see here, they're sort of small on the screen, but if we zoom in, we can analyze computer. Enhance. Here we have, uh, conversations, combos with Chugga. Um, let's see here. So she says, good morning. Chugga says she done come to see me. She says, huh? He says someone don't understand Southern talk. Is this an old person thing? You son of a daughter of a he, 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 eight D. I am the daughter of the game. You, the game is my dad and Rick roll is my mom. Don't make me take your shoes. Whoa. 
wait, it probably is him. <laughs> the shoe thing, bro. Why does he like shoes so much, dude? Why does this guy like like stinky cloppers so much? This this guy's got something going on. Wait, he literally immediately gets into shoes. Well, I'll tell my dad, then my mom. They won't be able to listen to you because you'll be shorter than them. And short people lie. I'm not short. You're short. Six two, small fry. Five three. Oh God, don't headrest me. Negative five feet tall. Doesn't that mean you something shadow underground or something? Base palm. I use those things for actions because I'm an epic nerd. I'm only five three. If I was a shadow, I'd totally lurk you and make you bad, make you something bad places. Nah, I won't headrest you. I'd rather foot rest you. Oh my God, bro. Why with the feet, dude? There's no fucking reason for that. Okay. Um, we'll just keep going here, I guess. I think part of the problem here as far as verifying if these allegations are real is going to be figuring out what the girl's age was at the time because if she was 15 and he was 19, that's pretty fucked. But if we can't prove her age at any point in time, like, how are we supposed to believe it, you know? I'm curious if he's going to respond to this at all or if he's just going to go fuck off. I think the only real update I've seen from him is this, uh, this Reddit post, which basically says that he's going to go stay with his girlfriend for an unspecified amount of time. He didn't say how long. It could be months, could be a year, but he won't be here. He said I could stay at the house and look after it and we'll continue to split the bills like we've been doing. So I guess uh, I guess it looks like he's just dipping for a little while. He's going to go to in Zimbabwe. Two hours later. Oh, shush. Ha ha ha. People always get so surprised when I ask them to talk or even that I reply to their messages at all. It's only to be expected, no? Ha ha. Well, I read every message that's ever sent to me, read every reply I get on Twitter, and read every comment I get on Facebook. And I make sure to reply to the less stupid ones. Poof. XD. That makes me feel somewhat better about myself. But heck, that's got to be a lot of people. Oh, well, that's nice if you feel better. And yeah, lately my mail's slowing down to about 110 messages per day. Used to be about 250 per day when I was doing Pokemon and Mario Sunshine. Ah, uh, that's still insane. Uh, face. Funny, funny face. Ah, uh, yeah, it's pretty insane still. It's just that making a Twitter and Facebook really lighten the load of mail on YouTube. Oh, because they used to have YouTube, uh, does anybody watching this even remember they used to have, like, YouTube Messenger? Do you guys remember this at all? That was a, that was a crazy time. I'm eating Mike and Ike's, by the way. I can't be to not eat candy while I, while I read about this push stuff, okay? I got a house I'm gonna get through it. And with my fucking cigarettes, I need to fucking have something, okay? Who the fuck do you want from me, okay? Also, stop saying my hair looks like a fucking Stahlhelm from World War II, okay? I know it does. That's why I have it, okay? Because I'm. Ha! <laughs> Never mind. Your mom. Ha ha ha. Yeah, it's pretty insane still. It's just the making of Twitter and Facebook really lighten the load of mail on YouTube. So, enough about me and my EP. Bruh. Bro. I see that you are of the endangered species that is the mother. What the fuck is this guy talking about? I go around outside listening to the Japanese Giga's rap. It certainly turns some heads. Oh, really? Want to hear Obsession? XD, one mother mix thing from Nico Nico. I have listened to it over 1,200 times. Okay. A lot of these DMs are kind of just boring. I have a Dragon Roost Island remix in there that's over 200 times also. I rip my songs, apparently. So, yeah. I'm going to rip you. Sorry, cat guy quotes. Poof. Would it really be now R is unwilling sorry me being a read haha uh -huh, it's cool not as bad as the 12 to 14 year old girls who write to me telling me of their massive crushes on me which is hilarious because they don't even know what i look like it's not totally impossible to be in love without knowing what someone looks like spends too much time on online sites and a lit question yes just how old do you think i am 18 i'm flattered really i'm only 15 turning 16 this year oh jesus uh -huh. what why does everyone always think significantly higher or lower xd whenever i meet people if they see what i look like they think i'm only 16 if if they just hear my voice online, they think I'm in my mid 20s. I'm really 19. Works out in the middle. I'm not sure what people think of my appearance. I've been said to look old and young. And well, you heard my voice, creepy demonic voice. I'm not that scary, or am I? Dramatic background music. And with that, there's a random subject change. I'm now done with episode 43. Yay! No more Earth Temple editing. Okay. Um, that was a pretty crazy. That was a pretty crazy little interaction. But at this point, maybe you could potentially say that it was just like cringe joking. I mean, it's kind of clearly flirting. But maybe this one is somewhat. Uh, someone somewhere could justify it somehow, but it looks like this next one is, uh, rather, rather rough. Rather rough. You suck. I know you do. F, uh, F you. You secretly love small children. Don't deny it. Poof, you're only a few years younger. Yay, creeping. I know that, but it's still... Uh, but it's okay. The law will never stop us. And I have no idea what's wrong with me. Lack of sleep. Sounds like my life. Baby, come back. Baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. Oh, whoa. You throw out your mop and broom? I had one. Okay. Oh my God, bro. They're back to the feet. Just like how you had sneakers. But I don't. You do. And I wear them when you're not looking. You mean like now? But you're looking, so no. Notice is a bulge in your boot. Pushes you down and snatches off your boots. You wear my sneakers inside of your boots. You're cheating. Blows the... 
whistle. Shaka Conroy says, Gah! Rams my feet into the boot since I have no other shoes to run in. Boot fetish. Chases after you in shoes. When I catch you. Jumps on. Gah is pinned. Please have mercy. Is What is this insane role playing? What is this insane role playing, bro? This is crazy. Haha, uh -huh, you got pinned by a girl. Has no idea what to do on top. Noms on top. Yes, I am a top, which means you're bottom. Guess it's not Gilia if you're the one doing the thing. Hey champ, that's really interesting. Next time, keep it to yourself. Oh my god, dude. Into the law it is. And it is You're not gonna rip your boots off me, are you? What a lovely idea. Rips the boots off, however that works. No, give me back my shoes. They're all mine. Wah ha ha ha. And so are you. I insert various inappropriate stuff here. You sure love ripping me. You sure love being ripped. And that means it's willing. And willing is sex. So now it's Ophelia. Oh my god, dude. That is... These are crazy. That is a very strange DM, Chugga Conroy. What are you doing there, big guy? Oh my god. He called her a lolly. Please tell me you don't know the actual meaning of lolly. And nah, lolly has a much nicer ring to it than pedo crush. Lolly is prepubescent though. Oh my god, bro. So it looks like this is him commenting on her YouTube video. E makes guy guess like 10 times creepier to have a small girl's voice, which is why I love it so much. And admittedly yelled, whoa, at the end. Here it looks like we have, above his proof, I still talk to and maintain contact with Amy after these logs. So this is just DMs from 2021. Um, and this seems to be the same Discord user that was from the, uh, uh, from the Emily DM, so it seems to be real. I mean, if all these DMs are real, which, I mean, it looks relatively difficult to fake. It looks like they are real. This is probably gonna be the nail in the coffin for Shaga Conroy. I can't imagine him really coming back to YouTube after this. Um, I mean, I guess it's possible he could try, but I can't imagine him getting away with it without a bunch of people making videos and just shit on him and reminding everybody that he's kind of a creepy dude. Um, Jesus. Below is proof of the old times roleplay stuff that continued. It was admittedly strange, but it was transactional, and so I went through with it, even if it made me uncomfortable, but I didn't want to kink shame. To be clear, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with a grown adult doing a consensual role play with another consenting adult. However, I'm trying to outline that this kink of his is the same he did with me while I was 15. There are many more logs of the role play stuff, but I don't think that's relevant to the point I'm making. All the stuff I've saved from these logs is dated in 2010. It's the text format of the logs I saved on Gaia. Far before anyone to my knowledge knew of his foot stuff. I hope that proves it's truly him I was talking to and not a fake. And the fact I kept contact with him after the fact and he references back to it is a fun memory for him. I understand the nature of this is so hard to believe and I've tried my best to compile what I had. Thank you for hearing me out. And so here we just have the logs based basically in text format saved here. Uh, Jesus, dude. All right. Well, I mean, I don't think I can really defend Shuga Conroy after that one. I'm going to be honest. I don't think there's any real good uh, defense I could possibly give. I mean, you just kind of have to accept that the dude is a part of the LCP club a little bit right now. You know, losers, creeps, and pedos, dude. That's what's up. That thing about him knowing the meaning of the term lolly and calling it a pedo crush essentially confirms that the whole Lost Innocent saga was all an act. This is some intense 4D chess he had been playing over the years to build the perfect online image. Yeah. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, I'm not really a Chugga Conroy fan, to be honest with you. I, I never was. I've seen, like, one of his videos, maybe, maybe, um, and I don't really get much out of it. But I know he's kind of seen as, like, a wholesome Let's Player with, like, a nice legacy, right? He's seen as, like, the quintessential guy who's been on YouTube for 15 years. He's been, you know, doing fun stuff that people like, and he's just been, like, a wholesome guy who could never do anything wrong, right? He's, he's seen as, like, a wholesome YouTuber. Here we have wholesome YouTuber Gamer from Mars, and here we have a compilation of YouTubers talking about- Hey, Conroy. guys, it's me, Shay Phil. Here to briefly let you know that I went to too many games convention in Oaks, PA this past Saturday. It was really, really, really good. I met Shugga Conroy. I've been watching him since I was like 13, so this was so surreal and insane. Like, holy cannoli, Batman. Hello, and welcome to Top X, where we count down the very best that YouTube has to offer. Today, we're taking a look at the top 10 underrated YouTube gamers. Number one, Chugga Conroy. And you are scared with your back turned at the wall. Your legs are even still shaking from it. Meanwhile, these suits of armor come to life and are swinging their swords at you. And you don't so much as bat an eyelash. And to be clear, to have someone make a video like this about you, that's not even like your content. It's just moments other famous people mentioned you. Like that shows that he had like a pretty strong fan base that like liked him a lot. I would hear people talk about like, like adults I meet or whatever, who like don't really watch YouTube. They'll say things to the effect of like, oh, I don't really watch YouTube gaming. Like, you know, I don't really like PewDiePie. I don't, I don't like Markiplier. I don't like, I don't like Dream. But Chugga Conroy is the go. You touched on uh, old videos in the past, in the beginning. All right. So I watched a lot of 
old school gamer channels back in the day. One of them was uh, Chugga Conroy. There you go. I dub says he likes Chugga Conroy. How far have they both fallen from grace now, I guess? Although, at least, <laughs> at the very least, Ian wasn't a fucking creep. Um, so, I, I imagine this news is going to be really upsetting for Chugga Conroy fans. I personally just find it upsetting just from the perspective of, like, he kind of had plausible deniability from this previous allegation. And then it turns out, all the way back in 2010, like, before he really was, like, huge, huge on YouTube. I mean, he had an audience, but before he was seen as, like, this, like, longtime legend, right? Because he had only been around for a few years back then. Even before all that, when people, like, were enjoying his content, seeing him as, like, a wholesome YouTuber, he was doing this like that that is so disappointing that's so disturbing and i think this should serve as a lesson okay for the audience you don't have to be totally blackpilled you don't have to be totally jaded about every youtuber and be like oh wish youtubers gonna be a creep next but just keep in mind in the back of your mind when you watch youtubers despite how strong the parasocial relationship may be you don't know these people you guys don't really know me okay you know the parts of me that i like to share with you guys on youtube but you don't really know me that well you 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 have no idea what i could be doing i could be putting king orbies up my ass all night for for all you guys guys know okay that actually be pretty base but i could be doing literally anything okay i could be eating homeless people at 3 a.m every day that is actually something i do um and i think that uh it's been hard for me to come out about this but you know they just taste really good when they don't have a home honestly <laughs> but 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 like for real like you don't know youtubers you don't know who they are they, they're just they're just a person somewhere in the world who's making videos that you like and you can like their personality and you can enjoy it and you can you know get a little bit emotionally invested if you want like i i mean i'm i mean i do that right it's hard for me not to you know like a youtuber and if i really like a youtuber i'll, I'll get disappointed if i find out that it's something shitty obviously that's human nature but just to like not mentally destroy yourself just have it in the back of your mind that like you don't really know these youtubers they could be doing literally anything they could be anyone they could be up to all sorts of devious or maybe they're completely normal people, you know? I mean, the thing with Shrugga Conroy is, like, this is an outlier. Like, not every guy is like this. But I think because we hear about them on such a large scale, right? These, like, negative stories are obviously overcovered and overreported. I mean, I'm a fucking commentary channel. I know that better than anyone. It's going to stick out in your mind. But, you know, don't let this black pill you too much. Not every YouTuber is a fucking horrible person. Just, uh, some of them. Wh whatever you guys do, just don't wind up like this fucking guy on the YouTube drama subreddit. Which, by the way, is, like, the funniest subreddit of all time. If you guys want to read, like, Pure Cope, Mauled, and Seethe, just go to that subreddit it's so funny but um here we have let's cheer ourselves up we've been hit with controversy after controversy and i've lost four youtubers because of this so let's make ourselves happy just give anything literally anything to make us happy memes jokes recommendations of any kind let's just get a bit more positivity in ourselves go the f outside you fucking freak okay go to the fucking gym like the the redditor thing isn't even a fucking meme anymore like this is like inst and instead of like trying to seek for happiness outside of the youtube drama subreddit they're like guys four youtubers i don't like have been lost and when they mean lost they probably just mean like they're not communists or something because this is like the communist subreddit now and they're like please reddit tell me how to be happy send me memes you think memes are gonna make you happy memes are gonna make you kill yourself just get the fuck off of it. Just, just don't, d don't allow YouTube drama to ruin your brain chemistry. Okay. Just, just chill the fuck out. Uh, literally, like the touch grass meme is so cringe. But actually, touch grass. Go outside for a little bit. Lift some weights. Hang out with a, you know, a person in real life, and then you'll be okay. And then you can go back to to Reddit. Okay. You can go back to Reddit, which I know is really is where you really want to fucking be. Okay. Anyway, if you guys like the video, leave a like. If you dislike it, leave a dislike. Drop a comment down below with your thoughts on everything that I talk about in this video, because it's always good to hear what you guys have to say. And I will see you tomorrow bye and be sure to become a member for five dollars a month they get the members only podcasts and exclusive videos that only members get thanks so much for your support no